हेलो स्टूडेंट्स कंटिन्यूइंग विथ प्लैंक्स लॉ ऑफ ब्लैक बॉडी रेडिएशन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल शो यू हाउ वी कैन डिराइव प्लैंक्स लॉ फ्रॉम बोस आइंस्टीन लॉ ऑल्सो सो दिस डेरिवेशन इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन विच इज आज इन मेनी एग्जाम्स एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल बिफोर कंटिन्यूइंग टू हियर द लेक्चर सीरीज लेट अस बिगिन Starting from Bose-Einstein energy distribution law, derive Planck's law of black body radiation. You can see how many times it has been asked in various exams. Now let us begin. Planck's law of distribution of energy with wavelength in the case of black body radiations can easily be derived with the help of Bose-Einstein statistics. Now you remember. what we told you regarding black body this diagram here is explaining you a black body where radiations are getting incident from this opening uh, getting multiple reflections and refractions with surface which has been coated with lamp black and then they are coming out then also we remember studying in previous lectures that the black body radiation spectra are showing us different variations at different temperatures and under the quantum statistics part they are following the planck's laws and otherwise they are getting reduced to classical laws and how they are varying with the temperature so now if we take a hollow enclosure and walls of which are maintained at constant temperature and a small hole is made in the walls the radiation coming out will be those of black body the atoms of the walls of enclosure will emit electromagnetic radiations and at the same time these radiations will be absorbed by the atoms therefore the equilibrium radiation in the enclosure is black body radiation and it is lying between zero and infinity these radiations which are getting emitted are carrying energy in discrete units or bundles or packets of energy known as quanta this is the principle of quantum physics so quantum theory of radiation and each bundle has packet h mu or h c by lambda amount of energy these quanta this uh, this is hc by lambda these quanta are known as photons and they can be treated as particles since the photons have integral spin angular momentum in units of h upon 2 pi they are going to obey the bose einstein statistics or the bosons you can refer the previous lectures for this today we are solving another question we are solving that from bose einstein statistics how to derive planck's law so today our aim is different let us begin from bose einstein statistics the maximum thermodynamic probability is given by d log w is equal to summation from i equal to 1 to k ln ni plus gi upon ni into dni equal to 0 here w is thermodynamic probability for the ith compartment to have ni particles distributed in its gi number of cells the ith one so gi ith ni ith this we have done all in previous lecture under bose einstein statistics so today in case of photon we are going to derive that the total number of photons in the enclosure will not remain constant detail of this we have explained in uh, the next lecture now it is possible that photons may be created or destroyed so they are not going to remain constant as you can see dni is not going to remain constant in case of photons but law of conservation of energy which is a universal constant is going to remain constant so we will multiply this equation with beta and equate the probability coefficient equal to 0 that is because u is a constant so its variation is going to be zero so differential of ln w equal to sigma i equal to 1 to k ln ni plus gi upon ni dni equal to zero
since both are equal to zero, we can straight away equate this du equal to ni dni and ln ni plus gi upon ni into dni. And equating it to zero, the above relation is satisfied if the values of the quantities within the brackets are separately equal to zero for each value of I and we get the constant beta equal to 1 upon kt. Putting this value in ni, we get ni equal to gi upon e to the power of ui upon kt minus 1. And this way, n for frequency gives us as uh, g into frequency upon e to the power of h mu by kt minus 1. So the number of photons in the frequency interval mu and mu plus d mu is given by n mu d mu is equal to g mu d mu upon e to the power of h mu by kt minus 1. So this expression is giving us the number of cells in the phase space volume lying in the energy interval between h mu and h into mu plus d mu. Now, what we will do since we are introducing quantum physics here and we are introducing that this wave is traveling with bundles or packets of energy, we will introduce momentum expression. That is, momentum is h mu by c where h is Planck's constant, mu is frequency, and c is velocity of light. In differential form, we can simply write c, h and c are constant. So you don't need to write their differential form, but p and mu, you can write dp is equal to h mu by c, sorry, h by c d mu. The number of cells in the phase space in momentum interval between p and p plus dp is given by gp dp is equal to 4 pi v p square dp upon h q. So the Bose-Einstein statistics, the numbers will be twice as much because the photons are having uh, left-handed polarization and right-handed polarization. And we are going to further apply the Bose-Einstein statistics to this radiation spectra. Again, we will put P equal to H mu by C and DP, this value here. Putting this value in the equation, here we get n mu d mu equal to 8 pi v upon c cube mu square d mu into 1 upon e to the power of h mu by kt minus 1. So each photon has energy density e mu d mu defined as the amount of energy per unit volume lying between frequencies mu and mu plus d mu given by E mu d mu is equal to h mu n mu d mu by v, which is equal to 8 pi h mu cube d mu upon c cube into 1 upon e to the power of h mu by kt minus 1. So this is Planck's law of black body radiation in terms of frequency radiation. You can also write this in terms of wavelength, putting the formula frequency velocity is equal to frequency into wavelength or mu is equal to c by lambda. You put this value in the above expression and you get e lambda is equal to 8 pi h c lambda to the power of minus 5 divided by e to the power of hc divided by lambda kt minus 1. So this is Planck's law for black body radiation in terms of wavelength. Planck's law accurately fits in many experimental results where we are discussing the distribution of energy with wavelength in terms of spectrum due to radiation from a black body. The most common example can be that how light is splitting in a prism. Now, the number of photons in an enclosure may not remain constant always because the photons may be completely absorbed on striking the wall of the enclosure 
or the hot wall may emit new photon or photon of energy equivalent to 2 h mu may be absorbed and two photons each of energy h mu may be emitted that is the photons may be created or destroyed hence they will not remain constant in the enclosure but energy will remain constant thank you